Now that you've created your course and added a file structure, you'll be wanting to start populating it with resources and activities for your learners. With everything available in its learning, they'll be able to access their learning at any time of day from wherever they can get online, home, classroom, workplace or on the move. In this tutorial, we're going to look at adding files, links and images. These will only be the basic foundations of your learning resources. We'll be looking at some really engaging and interactive content in later tutorials. First, let's look at files. Click on the folder that you would like to add your resource to. And then click on the green Add button. Select File or Folder from the menu. In the previous video, we used the Folder tool to create standalone folders from scratch. This tool allows me to upload files and folders of files. As you can see, I can add files from either my computer, from my Dropbox, Google Drive or OneDrive. We'll start with a single file that's on my computer. You can either browse to the relevant file or drag it to the yellow area on the screen. When the save button appears, your file is finished uploading. The file name is automatically added, but you can edit this if you like by clicking on the little red pencil. Click the green tick to save. Click save and your file will be ready. With Office Online integrated in the platform, any PDFs, Word, Excel or PowerPoint documents you upload will automatically be displayed in the screen. This is great for overcoming the problem of learners not having Microsoft Office on their computer or device. If your resources are in a zipped file, don't forget to use the toggle to unpack them as you upload. The message tells you when it's finished. If we now go to the resources and our coastal processes, we can see the files that have been uploaded and unzipped. If you want to add an ordinary folder of resources, use the folder link. File and folder again but this time we'll click on Upload Folder. Health and Safety in the Care Home and click OK. Again, when the message appears at the top, your folder of files has been uploaded. will be able to see the folder with the files inside in your resources area. Adding any resources that you may have stored in other cloud storage means that your learners can find everything they need in one place for any of their courses and you've no problems of sharing links or setting permissions. Again if I click on add file or folder it's a similar process I click on the OneDrive tab, Google Drive, Dropbox, whichever one I'm using, go to Open from OneDrive and find the file that I want to upload. Once it's uploaded, I click Save.
Next, we'll look at creating links to useful external websites. First, find your website and copy the URL to your clipboard. Then, go back to your course and start again from the relevant folder. Click Add and this time select the Link tool. Paste in the URL that you've copied from your website and click to add a title. When you've done that, save. This will give you a link through to the website directly to the site that you want the pupils to work from. If the site you're linking to is a secure site, that is the address begins with HTTPS, for example, the NASA climate site, you do exactly the same thing, copy the URL back in your course, click on add, go to link, and paste in the URL. This time you can see that you have the option to embed a page within its learning. Let's just give it a title. And save. This means that the live site is embedded directly into its learning and is available for your learners without them having to navigate around the internet or to find the right screen. And finally, what about uploading images? Well, there are many ways of using images in its learning, but I'll concentrate on using an image as a file resource for the purpose of this tutorial. It could be you want to share some powerful images to stimulate discussion or an infographic to provide a large amount of easily digestible data. As before, go to the course folder where you want to add your um, resource. I'm just going to put mine at the top level here and click on add. This time we're going to look at picture with description. I need to give it a title and navigate to the file that I have stored on my computer. Once it's uploaded, click on save and just pop in a little bit of text to describe it. And finally save. This will give me a nice clear image that I can use with my students. You can now begin to build up your course resources ready for your learners to access anytime, anywhere, from any device.